G'day folks, Ben from Snowy's here. Today showing you how to set up and pack away this 500 millimeter packable fire pit from Charmate. Hit it. It's got all stainless steel construction. It's got a base to get it up off the ground and features these vent holes for this convection heating to blow oxygen into the fire for an efficient burn. Before we dive in, we've got loads more content like this on our channel, so make sure you like and subscribe below. Now let's jump into the product. So this is how the 500 mil Charmate packable fire pit looks when you take it out of your box when you buy it. It comes in this uh, synthetic uh, carry bag here with a little bit of padding around the edges so it'll keep it protected while it's bouncing around in your car. Um, weighs about 11.2 kilos and this measures about 26 centimeters in height and about 52 centimeters in diameter. It's a perfectly round uh, um, fire pit. So starting with what comes inside, it's all, it needs some assembly. So I'm just gonna put this whole thing on the ground here and pull it out bit by bit. So the first thing in the middle here is the base plate. This goes at the very bottom. You've got a lip that goes around the top. Keep going by pulling. This is the top section that will go on top of the fire pit or the top half of the fire pit. You've then got an ash plate in here that goes inside the top. And the very last thing in here is the base section. And this will all make more sense once I put it all together. So I'm gonna put the storage bag aside and put all this together up on top of the box here. So first thing is to put the base together. And this is what it sits on top of. So this lifts the fire 10 centimeters up off the ground. And all of these pieces are exactly the same shape. You can see the notches are all exactly the same cut out. We need to lay this down so there's an overhang on each side. So if we lay it out like this and put it in opposite directions, this one will hang out this side. These notches are where the actual fireplace sits in. So we've got notches on this side here and this side here. And then these ones are gonna go opposite directions too. So notches at this end and then notches at this end. So that's how it's gonna to go together. So if we now sit this up like this and we slot that into there, then do the same thing here. Now, if we time it or do it right, you'll see these notches are both facing upwards, which means we can just slot this straight down on top like this. Now, if we have a look at how this is set up now, we've got an overhang here, an overhang on this side, an overhang on this side, and an overhang on this side. So it creates a support, an even support all around for the round fireplace to sit into. The next step is to put the base on top, or the, the bottom section on top of the base. Now there's two round sections here. This one's a single wall uh, tray. This one here's a double wall tray, which means there's, there's kind of a, it's thick around the edge there. There's, it's not a vacuum, but there's a layer on the inside and a layer on the outside. We want the single wall tray to go on first. Now this is just gonna sit inside these outer notches here. So you might just need to wiggle it a little bit to get them to locate into place. And that's all slotted in there. There's a bit of a lip underneath here. So that sits in there and stops that from sliding off. So that's now secure on the base there. The next step is to grab this section of the fire pit here. Now this is thicker around here. There's a double wall. You can see in here, there's, there's a, a wall on the inside and a wall on the outside. So this is the top section of the stove here. And this is here to sort of create a bit more airflow and a bit more oxygen in the fire. Now this sits this way up. So there's a lip here just to stop this from falling right down inside the bottom section. And it just sits inside until that lip catches. And it just sits on top like that, just loosely on top like that. The next step is to put this ash tray in here. Now this creates a gap between where the timber's gonna sit and it allows a space underneath to the bottom of the fire pit for the ash to fall through. Now this is gonna slide inside here so that this lip around the top here goes all the way down until it sits on top of this lip that's halfway down the fire pit here. Now you might need to wiggle it a little bit to get it past that point. So just sort of hold the outside like this. It's not overly heavy, so it's not difficult to do. Slide it in and give it a bit of a wiggle until you can get it past that point. And then it sits down. So this lip here is now sitting on the bottom lip of that top section. And you've got a good sort of 10 centimeters gap underneath there for airflow and also for the ash to fall through. The last thing for setup is this little ring here that just goes on top and sort of finishes the fireplace off a bit. It sort of gives it a bit of a lip over the edge there. Now that's the uh, 500 mil packable fire pit from Charmate all set up. Um, nice and easy, nice and packable. It's quite large. Uh, it doesn't have any cooking sort of grills or anything on it. So you could cook marshmallows in it obviously, but if you wanted to actually cook on this, you'd probably just have to rest a grill or something on top of here, but it's not actually, um, it doesn't come with a, a cooking grill as such. As always, make sure you set up your fireplace free of any flammables around the edge here. You do get 10 centimeters of gap underneath here. Probably gonna give you a bit of a, a space or a bit of a, a heat um, gap 
for burning anything underneath, but if you are particularly sensitive about the lawn or anything you've got it on top of, a roaring fire probably will still burn what's underneath there. So maybe just clear everything out from underneath the fire. Now pack up of this is pretty much everything in reverse. The hardest bit is just getting it back in the bag because the bag's a little bit tight, but if you do it one bit at a time, that's the easiest. So I'll show you how to do that. I'm gonna start just by pulling everything apart. So just do everything in the exact reverse of what you did for setup. So lip off first and then the ashtray out the inside here. Obviously you'd probably wanna clean all that up or get the timber out before you uh, pack this away. Separate these two sections and you can flip this one upside down straight away because that's how it's gonna get packed away. Take this off the base there. We'll just leave that resting there for now and we'll pack these up so they're all sitting flat as well. We'll put them aside and now grab the bag and don't assemble it all first up. Do it one bit at a time because it's a bit heavy to try and get it all in the bag and it's a reasonably tight bag to fit it inside. So it's easier to fit this in the base. This is the, 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 very, the bottom section first. It's easier to put that in because you're dealing with a lighter product to start with. So there we go, that went in pretty easily, but you can see it fits really snugly around the edge there. So the next thing you wanna put in is the ash tray here. So that sits in the bottom, kind of loose, but just kind of put it in the middle because the next section, which is this section here, the double wall section, goes in upside down. So the lip here sits at the top and that just slides in over the top of everything and the ashtray sits inside of it like that. But I can't pull that ashtray out once it's in there because of this lip here. So you need to put that in first. From here, you can put the um, little um, ring that goes around the top in upside down. So don't put it that way, put it this way so that it slopes down into the fire pit. And then the base plates can just sit inside here. If they're worried about them rattling around, maybe wrap them in a, a towel or, or um, put them in a hessian bag or something like that, just to stop them rattling around inside there. And from there, you can do this up. And that's all packed away. Now, in terms of how it rattles, that's, the, that's pretty much just the, the um, feet inside here. If I take these out and give it a rattle, give you an idea of how noisy it's gonna sound. It still rattles just a little bit, but it's not too bad for a, a fire pit, given there's a lot of metal inside there, but that's certainly gonna create a lot more noise than the fire pit itself. That's how to set up and pack away the Charmate 500 millimeter portable fire pit. Great option for big groups around a campsite, cooking a few marshmallows and just enjoying the outdoors. You can check these out online at snowies.com.au where you find them at our lowest prices every day. Yeah.